So here we have a typical um, toilet with an issue that's quite common really, where the fill valve fails. Now that is the fill valve there. And what it does, it fills the toilet to a level. And if I can just show you that, there's a little notch there. And the level is well above. And if I move over to the overflow pipe there, you can see that the level is now in line with the overflow pipe. So it's actually dripping through the overflow pipe very slightly. Um, and that's because the fill valve has failed there. Um, as I said, it's quite a common issue with toilets, um, particularly um, of this age, where the fill valve fails. And usually when the fill valve fails, um, it doesn't let a lot of water in. It, you know, it's very rare you get a lot of water coming through. You normally get a little bit that, um, like in this case, we're getting a little bit of water through. And what it's causing is the toilet to overflow and the water go out there of the overflow pipe. So what we're going to do today is replace that blue fill valve there. And the other bit in the middle, that's called a siphon, the blue and black bit. I did actually replace that in the toilet and there's a video you can watch uh, about that and I'll put a link in the description below about replacing the siphon. It's a lot harder to replace the siphon because you have to take the toilet off but that like I say is in another video. In this video we're just talking about replacing this fill valve here. Um, so basically this is a standalone so all we've got to do is empty the toilet. And underneath here that is the fill valve where the water comes in. Luckily, we do have an isolator there for the water. So I can turn the water off quite safely and disconnect the fill valve. Of course, the first thing I've got to do is drain all the water. So what I'll do now is I'll turn that valve off underneath so no water comes in. I'll flush the toilet and then I'll start to empty the toilet and you can watch me empty the toilet. Okay, let's get this task started. So my first task to do is to turn the water off on this valve here, which I've just started to do already. Just need to uh, make sure we turned off there nice and tight that water is turned off one thing I just want to show you as well here is down there I've put a tub to catch any water that drips because obviously I've got to take that off there now looking at my setup I've just checked and the two nuts that I need to unscrew are those two there the white one and the silver one to get this off. Luckily, I've just checked and they both fit a 25 millimeter spanner. So that's going to be fairly easy to take off. So all I need to do now is to flush the toilet and let's get the toilet emptied. flushed and the water's turned off it won't fill in so all I've got to do now is drain a very tiny amount of water from the bottom of this toilet now I shall do that with a sponge and a very small tub
it's time to drain it but don't forget whatever is left in the toilet in the top tank will come out when we undo that hence the reason for the box below just so we can catch any water that drips and if you can see that 25 mil 25 mil spanner screwed from below so it should come out fairly easy there we go and there's the hole so this is the new replacement one that I've ordered and when you order them it goes on the fitting and that there is half inch and um, the height is also um, a factor I'll just show you that there the height's not such a much problem for me it was just making sure we had a half inch fitting uh, which is what is needed on the pipe bit So I just want to touch on the installation of this. It is dead easy. Um, the nut, what we took, like as you can see, this is the old one. We took a nut and a washer off underneath. So we have the white washer and the brass nut going underneath. So we should take that off and the rest just pushes in. That's the black bit that you're looking at there is like a... Um, I don't know what you call it, like a plunger um, valve type thing. Stops the water, not a valve as such, but a piece of plastic plunger, you know, stops the water from leaking. I'm sure it's got a name, somebody will tell me, but there you go. And we've got a washer there and a brass nut, as I said, that go underneath the toilet. I'm going to attempt to do this one-handed. <laughs> it should always be fun, but uh, yeah, this should work. in the hole there if 
So they look underneath, there we go. We're now ready to fit it. Put the washer on first. Holding it from the top. So that's filled up, we need to slightly adjust it, but that looks to be okay. Get the toilet to flush. And we fill up quite quickly now. Just check the pipe joints as well, make sure they're not leaking. And if you notice there, the fill level is a bit below. So what we need to do is just adjust that little screw there. So I just need a Phillips screwdriver to adjust that. So that's just slightly adjusted. Let's see how we go this time. Well, 
a little bit higher this time so uh, I'm happy with that hi everybody thanks for watching this video and here is a picture of the fill valve that I installed in the toilet I'll put a link in the description below for you as well as it was purchased from Amazon please note that it may not fit your toilet and you should always check before ordering my particular one used a half inch connection and the other thing to check is the height of the fill valve as well and whether it will fit in the toilet tank if you're unsure always use a professional plumber um, i am handy with diy so i knew what i was doing myself and i have done this job before if you're not sure like i say always get a plumber in to do any type of work like this thanks for watching the video hope you liked it please give it a thumbs up and if you have any questions please ask in the comments below thank you for watching